Rate of brine here because we want to get rid of some of that gaminess. So we're going to put about two cups of apple juice, about a cup or so of apple cider vinegar in there. That vinegar is really going to eat away at that gaminess, but we want to kind of shoot a little extra meaty flavor, a little umami, if you will. So we're going to hit it with Worcestershire and we're going to hit it with some of that skull and mortar steak rub, which will be available on the website soon. Now we're also going to take some of that brine and we're going to inject it into the meat. We want to make sure that we get a deep penetrating flavor there. Really make sure that you inject all over the meat. You want to get a good thorough injecting. You can't inject too much.